Do pigs eat their own babies? Although the thought of it might be kind of disturbing, the short and simple answer to that question is yes. Occasionally, a sow will eat their own piglets. In some cases, it even goes as far as a sow savaging their piglet, meaning they will attack, injure or even kill a live and healthy piglet, leading to cannibalism. But there are different reasons and circumstances as to why this would happen. There is also a very clear and huge difference between wild living pigs and domesticated pigs, with the savaging generally only taking place with popular domesticated pig species. Although it sounds crazy, let's first look at the natural or normal reasons why a pig in general would eat one of their own babies. Occasionally, just like many other animal species, pigs will give birth to an already dead piglet. And as morbid as it might sound, it may also happen that a clumsy and heavy sow will accidentally crush or trample one of the babies. However, pigs are known to be highly intelligent and great problem solvers. It makes sense for her to eat and therefore remove a dead piglet before the carcass decays and is able to spread diseases. In the wild, alone in the woods, it is just a safer and more sanitary thing to do, not only for her, but especially for the vulnerable other babies. She will keep her nest clean in order to protect her other offspring. There is also reason to believe that a sow will eat a terminally sick or dying piglet in order to protect others and prevent the spreading of a potential disease. Now, while the reasons we just mentioned count for both wild and domesticated pigs, let's move over to just domesticated pigs and look at reasons why they would eat their own babies and maybe even start to savage them. I can tell you right away though that most of the reasons are induced by bad and insufficient keeping and housing conditions for the pigs. Like we mentioned in the very beginning, most popular piglet eating species are domesticated pig species like the purebred white gills. Those domesticated pigs do not have the chance to give birth in the wild in a nest they chose, built and feel safe in. Pigs are often kept in confined, limited, harsh and unworthy housing conditions. That, together with the fact that hundreds and thousands of them share the same home and are permanently watched over by humans, leads to unnecessary stress in the animal. Pigs obviously also require an adequate supply of food and water in the form of vitamins, minerals, fats, carbohydrates and proteins. Especially during pregnancy, the caretaker has to make sure that the pig is not deficient in nutrients because it ultimately may add to her urge to eat one of her own piglets. The hormonal change, especially in animals who give birth for the first time, will add to the environmental and biological stress. When a pig reaches 115 days after mating, these hormones are stimulated. The hormones produced are transferred through the bloodstream to the placenta. The placenta proceeds into producing prostaglandins, which circulate in the sow's ovaries. All of these hormones play a big role in pig's behavior before and after farrowing. When the point of harrowing is reached, the guild will then be put in individual confinement for the first time in her life. The sudden change of environment will induce confusion and further stress in an already stressful period. All the reasons above may cause a very stressed and very confused sow, which will lead to excessive behavior and overreacting, including aggressive behavior against the own offspring, sometimes resulting in piglet savaging. According to Savaging Behavior in Gilts and Sows by MJ Harris, YZ Lee and HW Gon Yu, piglet savaging is the behavior that describes how gilts or sows hurt or kill their piglets after birth and has been categorized as cannibalism. The incidence of piglet savaging was reported as 0.3% in farrowing pigs with a higher frequency observed in gilts than in sows. Gilts that savaged their first farrowing were at higher risk of savaging in their next farrowing compared to gilts that did not savage in their first farrowing. Now as a conclusion at the end here, and as repulsive as it might sound, pigs might eat their own babies and actually have understandable reasons for it if it happens naturally and to protect the other piglets. However, savaging piglets in domesticated pigs is a whole other thing and is caused by various reasons, all regarding their state of environment, the quality of their life, nutrition and overall keeping conditions. Now I really hope you liked the video, if you did please click on the like button. Also feel free to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any new videos. It is free and only takes one second to do. But most importantly, take care of yourselves and have an absolutely fantastic rest of the day.